Good evening, my name's Alex Campbell. I'm Jasper. And you're watching Examining Simonema. So, Razorback is like a 1980s Australian B slasher creature feature surrealistic movie. Is white hot garbage? <laughs> Is it white hot garbage or is it a fine piece of art? It's not, it's not a fine piece of art. It is definitely a fine piece of art. It definitely is not. Or would you rate it against the lighthouse? <laughs> I mean, it has its moments. It has its moments. Most of them, almost all of them are towards the beginning of the film. It definitely loses steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely yeah, loses yeah, yeah. steam. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of feel like two different elements here. We got like the schlocky horror film and then we got the surrealistic art house film. Yes, it's kind of jammed together. together. Yeah, yeah. There's some amazing shots where they've just used lighting and fog machines and, and just some fucking, just to get some surreal cray and filters. Just to make like there's a there's a scene where he's walking across a, a salt flat, <laughs> and they, they switch between like an orange, like a stark yeah, orange, yeah, orange yeah. filter to a bright blue filter. Yeah, it looks amazing. There are a lot of very striking, beautiful images, and just the direction in general. The well, it, it, there's a really nice bait and switch right at the beginning. Yeah, that you got to appreciate. Like they set it up like a typical film, and then they fucking they, yeah. I don't know spoilers, I guess. <laughs> they might have ever seen this fucking ancient film, but they set up the they set up the main protagonist Beth Winters as a female character mm. who's going to uh, investigate the slaughter R of Report kangaroo slaughters. Which is just a cull, I guess. It doesn't really make a lot and of sense. Using the kangaroos for dog food. Which is perfectly acceptable as which, what they do. I anyway. don't know, do they do that? Yeah, very shooters. That's that's where dog food comes from, it's yeah. kangaroo meat. Yeah. Australia! <laughs> yeah. Our dogs eat kangaroos! <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, she dies. These two guys. Yeah, yeah straight up. Like it, it, she's set up as the protagonist, but then early on she she dies, mm -hmm. uh, and she gets eaten by the, the the Razorback. The Razorback. Well, first of all, they set up the old grizzled Ahab style mm. outback guy, and he gets like this epic and play. crocodile Dundee. Yeah, yeah, but like they, they go to the effort of like 20 minutes of the opening film is setting up his yeah, backstory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's and like he, a... And he's a crazy old man. <laughs> the actor is clearly a crazy yeah, old man. It's just like putting 110% into his performance. <laughs> Only one thing good about him. <laughs> if they're dead. <laughs> Something about blasting the shit out of a Razorback that brightens up my whole day. But surely... Oh, so it's like a... Who was the dingo who stole my baby lady? Yes, it's that story. Azaria Chamberlain. Or was that... I think Azaria Chamberlain was the baby. Oh, okay. And the, the mother was somebody else Chamberlain. Oh, it, it, it kind of mirrors that. Before my time, yes, yes. Yeah, he, he, his grandson was stolen by a razorback. And then his house burns down because <laughs> a razorback ran through it. <laughs> the razorback, which is a big pig, yeah, a yeah. really big pig, mm. uh, ran through his house and lit it on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Stunner! Then he goes through the courtroom scene and nobody, nobody believes that the Razorback lit his house yeah, off. Yeah, they think that he killed his grandson. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opening to the film. 
So yeah, the director directed a bunch of Duran Duran music video clips and okay. Elton John video clips. Okay. And then someone was like, do you want to do this movie? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so he was like a video clip director. Okay. He, it came in and like did all these like... Well, that's the burning house where it's like <laughs> yeah. on the sand and logging up and screaming. All the, the lighting and everything yeah, is kind yeah, of yeah, 80s. Yeah, that makes sense. Clips. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what? 110 percent in. There's so many like interesting angles and uh, cuts and yeah. edits. It's oh, not, there's so many transitions. Yeah, all the so transitions between all the transitions. Things are like, uh, yeah, beautifully done. It's not like, like, you know, those, those B movies where, like, nobody cares. Like, no effort was put in. It's like, all the actors <laughs> are overacting to the max. The director is, everything is, like, artistic. And then the script is just, like, it's garbage. It's just <laughs> fucking garbage. With this guy who's like, yeah, I'll direct this fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Why? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, he went on to direct Highlander. Oh, I can't. I've not watched Highlander in... 18 years. I watched it. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't <laughs> remember. see that, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't remember anything about Ireland other than Sean Connery and it's not the Scots. Best. Yeah. There can only be one. Claymores. You know. Yeah. So there are these two, like, uh, punk, spoken, so, yeah, yeah. Australian guys. It's very, very reminiscent of we were comparing it to, um, fucking Tank Girl, Tank Girl um, Fury Road, Mad Max, Mad yeah. Max, yeah, the cyber, Very the whole Max. cyberpunk thing, there's a whole bunch of, there's one Dystopian. scene in particular with the, with the brother, mm. with, who's got a fake eye, yeah. and he's in the cab of his, like, fucking Rue, Rue hunting truck. Because you've got to have an armor-plated truck, <laughs> a Mad Max vehicle to hunt roofs. <laughs> but he's in this, yeah. And there's through the the front windshield is like a grate instead yeah. of a windshield, and it's the cab is lit with green light, mm -hmm. and so it's like a real cyberpunk scene. So there's this whole weird, yeah, '80s cyberpunk. I don't know, diesel punk, I guess is what they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even like the slaughterhouse where they work in is like this comic book, like mm, mm. Tank Girl, Mad Max, dystopian, over exaggerated hellscape, and they live in like a <laughs> nightmare cave. Yeah, they're in a they're in a giant fucking it's an opal mine. Mm -hmm. Apparently. Yeah, they live in like a fucking opal mine down underground with like fucking dead birds and shit. <laughs> and they are like far more effective protagonists than the boar. The boar, oh, you know, the boar is the boar is the barely in the movie it. Down. There's no backstory for the boar. There's no backstory. There's no like, character. character. There's no character. There's no anything. But also, it's he sort barely of, rocks up. It's not. It's not well implemented. It's not the horror movie elements. No, which is what the film is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I it, guess it, it, they should have gone. They should have got rid of the boar and, and just had those two. It should have been no. Nah, there should have been a few other characters, mm. and it should have been like a mystery of like who done it, and it should have been like who a wolf, killed. Yeah, it should have been a, like a like wolf a Laura freak Palmer wolf type, type scenario yeah. where one of them was a fucking schizo. psychological thriller, yeah. but it's fucking surreal. Instead of the boar, the boar, boar, the boar is what detracts from the film, and that's why the later like the third act of the yeah, film is so yeah, weak yeah, yeah. is because it's all just the boar and the main character and him killing the boar in a warehouse yeah they um they ran out of time and money and of course when they ran out of time and money it was the final sequence and they didn't really know how to end it and but it was, I, it was yeah they, 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 i mean they couldn't the boar didn't work <laughs> it's just fairly sh clear. It's like, it's like the shark from Jaws, right? Yeah, yeah, it the practical work. shark looked like garbage. Yeah, so they couldn't use the boar. But, but even the storyline around the boar, like, it didn't work. Yeah. The interesting elements were the, the surreal fucking moments and all the 
outlandish characters. characters. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, great. Yeah. Well, send me! Tell a man, send me! You finished the kangaroo off? Send me! So yeah, it's very much like Jaws, where like the, the shark looked like dog shit, so Spielberg cut around it, mm. and you, you, you see the boar a few times, and it just it like, looks yeah, like garbage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, I, a lot of old Doctor Who, the ones that work, are like the ones that don't just show the mm. fucking mm. alien mm. villain, mm. but a lot of the time they just cut to like a, the, the stupid looking a guy in a suit cardboard. in highlight, yeah, yeah. in a like a corridor. You can see the zip, and you're like, I can see the zip. <laughs> It's like this holds no tension or suspense. I like the, the, the initial. You gotta, you gotta suspend your disbelief at that point. You're <laughs> like, I'm going to actively try and buy you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to what this is. Yeah. That, that's fair enough. And yeah, like the first scene where Beth Winters gets killed. Like they, they're not showing it and they cut no, it. No, like that scene's amazing. The angles that scene are really looks good. Fantastic. And it's brutal. And she's up against the glass. Yeah, and, yeah she's yeah. just been like fucking almost raped and like slapped around. <laughs> it's it's way darker yeah. than I thought. <laughs> Way more uh, it's, yeah. surreal than I thought. But then by the end, like they're just like, <laughs> yeah, it gives a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be in a warehouse. Yeah, he'll swing off that pig. <laughs> he'll fall into the spinning thing. <laughs> and there's like this fucking compressor thing that like almost explodes. They set it up, but they don't explain it. Then towards the end, it like fucking He's overloads. Gotta bang it with a, gotta with bang a, it with a bit of wood. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a boiler. It's a boiler. At That's the, what that was. It was a big. It's a big. It's a big like pressure vessel. Yeah, but what is it doing at the dystopian? It's a boiler avatar? of some description. Presumably, they're boiling the meat down into fucking dog food. So it's a boiler. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is my extensive knowledge of abattoirs. Because <laughs> this was a realistic representation of an abattoir. <laughs> Uh, so there's this uh, woman, uh, I forget her name, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's this pretty girl that lives in the um, Australian outback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We She's see like, titties. She, we do. She's <laughs> like a boar biologist who's orphaned and just lives by herself. She's way too attractive to be that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That person doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> that person is morbidly obese and grizzled and hardened by time. <laughs> She's kind of... Too much sun. That person has had too much yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah, as a lot of people in Australia have. It's okay. It's okay. She's kind of the love interest, our main character. He has this great backstory, uh, but other than that, I don't know, he doesn't have a whole lot of character. No, no, he's, he's there to find his dead wife. Yeah. But that, he's not even there to find his dead wife. He gets a really. ring and he's like, oh, I've come, I've got what I came for. No, like, he, he came for the, maybe it was a really expensive ring and it was like, she was, I was with her for a year. <laughs> she was going to have my kid, but fucking this ring cost me yeah, like two yeah, and a half yeah. grand. Like Time I'm coming to, to get fly this ring. Home to America. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it seemed like anyway. As yeah. soon as he got the ring, he was like, yeah, I'm leaving now. Yeah. So it seemed like what he, his priorities were, uh, this was an expensive ring and I'm mm. going to get it back. No, he's got it and go home. And pay off his fucking debts to the local crime boss. <laughs> <laughs> um, th there was an idea floated originally to cast Jeff Bridges, the Big mm. Lebowski, as this guy. Yeah, okay. But uh, this uh, actor, and I don't know his name for obvious reasons, he at the time was kind of an upcoming actor, mm. and he was kind of like hedging all his bets on this. He thought this would be his breakthrough role. And a lot of the filmmakers thought this would like be a breakthrough movie. Ooh, it was that a, was yeah, that was, was a bad decision. I don't know who he is. <laughs> He's 
faded into obscurity. It was completely gone from the public eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The film was a, a financial well, and critical failure. Well, most normal people watch this and be like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? I mean, isn't that what you said, Jasper? <laughs> I mean, it is, it is white hot garbage, but there are like pearls. There are moments. It's like, yeah, I think you said on point. It's, it's all the little connecting moments that are brilliant. It's, it's, no, no, what I said was it was it's it's the it's the micro aspects. <laughs> the macro aspects are fucking garbage, but there's just like micro aspects. These yeah, little, little transitions or, and shots or and shots. angles. Yeah, yeah, that are just lighting or just lines that are delivered just straight, <laughs> plain, straight yeah. face. It's just like the script. Yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> of the story, yeah, the elements and how they're interacting with it. Yeah. Individually, a lot of those elements are amazing. Yeah, but then how those elements are interacting with each other just don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, those two <laughs> brothers, the two cyberpunk, the, the two punk mm. brothers. Yeah, yeah. And then like the main character. The way that they interact. Well, is I, not... I don't really understand. Like, like he's searching for his wife, then all of a sudden he's bunking with them because some old guy got said... a job at the abattoir because the old guy <laughs> said, I, uh, I don't know. No, it didn't I... work. None of none no, of yeah. that worked. No, none of anything that any of the characters did really made any sense. So there's a point where <laughs> I made character... be a reason why he was wandering in the desert for him to have the fucking psychedelic experience. And that scene so was we could cool. have the crazy. The crazy different filter yeah. effects over the the salt plane, but the director was just like, <laughs> "I want to have this scene." Yeah, and, and, he's, and he's looking at how we need to cut it in script. to the story somehow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. None of the events fucking make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> the, the acting is good. It's just like mm, mm. all the actors. They're overacting, and it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, every, and everyone's but it's great. It's not boring. Top. None. Of, it's no, never no. boring. No. A talented visual director and cinematographer who got a bad script and a bunch of actors who thought this was gonna be something so they put effort in? I don't even know that. It's like it's like there's a lot of talent and a lot of effort, but there was no like uniting sort of unifying thing that kept the whole that kept the whole thing together. Yeah. And so you've got all these individual parts, but none of them are adding up to a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Talented people, but no direction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need a good story. <laughs> I, think, I mean, there's a well. One of the things we were saying is, it's like the, the, this is. This is the franchise that needs to be <laughs> resurrected, like the the <laughs> cyberpunk. Because there's so many, especially in the the third act, we were drawing a lot of comparisons to the end of Terminator. It looks very Lighting. visually like Terminator. Yeah, the 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 abattoir looks very similar to the the, the processing facility, the the metal processing facility that they're in in the end of Terminator Two. He's yeah. trying to destroy the boar. Sarah Connor's trying to destroy the Terminator. Yeah, yeah, this relentless of... monster. Yes. Yeah. 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 But we were we were say like a cyber resurrected mm. Razorback. Razorback 2020. It's yeah, like Blade yeah, yeah, Runner yeah. 2049. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this this, this sequel to this crazy. movie that nobody's seen, that nobody it's, knows it's, of. It's yeah, that, well that's it. It's instead of <laughs> there's so many sequels nowadays that are no one asks for and no one yeah. needs. This yeah. is this is the one that no one asked for, but we all need. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's like, yeah, it's gonna have this Terminator twist. Yeah, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna have like a robot, like a, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. camera eye. Yeah. It's gonna be like half robotic and <laughs> it's all been resurrected. And slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be amazing. That'd be fucking amazing. Yeah, that all guys. I, I should... would pay to see that. Fuck <laughs> yeah! <that's laughs> that Give me one fucking to take my money. <laughs> Oh, they're doing that fucking tank girl reboot. Mm. <laughs> Again, no one asked for that and it's going to be garbage. <laughs> At least going into this, we would know it's going to be garbage. <laughs> like you're not setting us up for something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect all the fucking high art fucking No, no, no that was amazing. <laughs> That's the thing. But then it's still beach law. Yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's garbage. <laughs> it's hot, rotting garbage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So one thing it does have, which a lot of modern horror films don't have, is atmosphere. That's fair. It does, especially in the first half, mm. build up this tense atmosphere and the music is pretty incredible. Yeah, no, there, no, there are a few parts where the music hits and just fucking works. It's like the right chords. I, and yeah, just the, uh, it's not even so much, but it's the right, uh, the right chords, it's the right, like you say, atmosphere, it's the right genre of music. A lot of it's, it's not yeah. symphonic, it's, it's like electronic. Yeah, music. yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah, it's very well done. Yeah, yeah, there, there are a lot of moments where it, it, it builds up this feeling. There's a this scene with that cunt feeling. on the camel who's walking past the window. What's the song that's played just for a second? Yeah, it's What is that? that? That's the song. Oh, was that was like a good great, song. Was it like Great Southern Land or something? No, 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 it wasn't even that. It, it, was, was, an, it was an Aussie song. It was some, yeah. But then, yeah, I just wanted to hear that song. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because, like, have you paid the licensing to put that in? Or is it just... Because it was just a second Maybe of that song. Maybe they just avoided having to Maybe. pay the... I don't, Maybe. Maybe, but then it you was wanted weird. to hear that song again, because that, that did not have any payoff. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there's, this, there's a scene where Beth Winters and the cameraman first get into the pub and they're, they're, they're showing her reporting on it and they keep on cutting away to all these like elements of danger. Like a guy with a gun with a glass on it. And <laughs> yeah, it doesn't pay off. Like, then the camera, like a camel, like cuts in and all this weird fucking shit. <laughs> Last year, more than 800,000 kangaroos and wobblies were... <laughs> wobblies! <laughs> um, oh, there's also <laughs> these cutaways with this Aussie bogan drinking Fosters. And um, he traps the boar and it rips off a corner of his house. Oh, that's right! And, and it, the TV keeps playing yeah, and it's like pulling it, it's the TV away. It's dragging away like a, a chunk of the corner of his house <laughs> with the TV. And I think it's for it's like laughs? I don't... <laughs> The whole ball thing wasn't handled. It's like, it, if it's about a fucking pig, like, well, this is the backstory, you know? It's yeah, sci fi. This is how it it's came magic. to be. Yeah, this yeah. Is this was its a... origin. Make it a character, but it, like, it wasn't even in the film. No. <laughs> and then you have these comical cutaways of the ball. <laughs> Tearing up cunt's houses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, they, they didn't want to make a horror movie. I. I don't know. I don't know if they knew what movie they were making. <laughs> no, they didn't know. What fuck, I don't know what movie it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. It's a music video. Yeah, it, it should be a Bishlock horror film, but it doesn't serve any of those fucking tropes effectively. Yeah, the horror stuff is the worst part of the film. Yeah, every time the pig is yeah doing stuff, you're like yeah, they, yeah. they don't pay any attention to the pig in the script. <laughs> The guy's just like, I gotta kill the pig, the pig, the pig. He doesn't talk about it. He's the freaking pig. out, looking at like pigs. He's like watching pigs and yeah, freaking out. That was great act. <laughs> that was fucking just amazing. his eyes. He's just like, ah! <laughs> So, in conclusion, Razorback goes to the effort of building up good. It goes too long. It only goes for an hour and a half. Yeah, but like it, it just the like pacing. Say, loses steam. Oh, it loses the steam. Like the it. first two, the first act, you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second oh, act, you're shit. like, oh my god, this, this is, amazing. is fucking amazing. Second act, you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Third, Third act, act, you're, you're like, like, can it, can it stop now, please? Just kill the pig. This is this is garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kill the fucking pig. Yeah. Just slows down. Well, yeah, they 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 ran out of money in time. They didn't know what they're doing, and it, it's the end of the movie when they do this. I don't, they should have killed the pig at the end of the second act. Mm, mm, mm. The third act should have just been like crazy fucking skitzed out. The, sh the pig just should have been in the background doing yeah. stuff. And then the two main <laughs> characters are those fucking like punk, bogey, yeah, 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 psychopaths yeah. just knocking people off. And it like involve all the townspeople more. Mm -hmm. Like that scene where all the townspeople Getting gather around with their guns. Fucking take they, yeah, to try in and the get movie, the they just go back. It's like, yeah. like no, have that as that the third act. Been, that should have been that's valid. Now that's the townspeople valid. are out with their fucking guns. Yeah, and yeah, there's, yeah, there's a, there's a Big giant shootout. There's a boar. You yeah, the crazy those creepy fucking... guys have the hot chick, and yep. the guy needs to save her. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That's how that should have happened. Yeah.
But it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen that way. That's a shame. But anyway, Cyberpunk, Cyber, <laughs> Cyber Razorback, Razorback 2020. 2020. That, that needs to be the focus. Who owns the rights to Razorback? <laughs> that would be amazing. Can we buy the rights? <laughs> we'll make, we, we need to write the screenplay for fucking the resurrection of Razorback. <laughs> we'll look for the fucking rights. We'll see who owns it. Maybe we can get them for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> Because this is our ticket <laughs> to fame. <laughs> Raise <Razorback>. it <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be amazing. <laughs> it would be fucking incredible. I would pay good money to go and see Razorback 2020. <laughs> <laughs> In like five years. <laughs> so it's like 2005. Yeah. 2025. Yeah. But, but it's, it's like high future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of those deals where they're like completely fucking <laughs> missed shot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, I liked it, it's a good movie, it's confused, it, it's yeah, non-effective, <laughs> good character backstories, good setup, good acting. Some of them, some of them are really well set up, but some of them are not set up at all. Uh, yeah, like it's... and then it just goes nowhere. Yeah. It just goes nowhere. <laughs> it's a non-event. <laughs> the third act is a non-event. <laughs> They're in an avatar, uh, he falls into a thing. Uh, you could you could have done a lot better. <laughs> That's why. But yeah, it does have its moments. It definitely <laughs> has its moments. <laughs> a few of them. Thank you for watching. Really, 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 really comments. Beautiful.